Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So in this one I'm using some of my Kiki London gel polishes and there will be swatch videos in the description box um, for all these colours so you can have a look if you want to. But in this video I'm doing this on my own nails and I'm using a different shape so I'm using some tips that I bought from Amazon. So the link to those will be in the description box under my Amazon storefront as well. So I'm just starting off by buffing the surface of these tips. I've already applied them as you can see and I've shaped them. Uh, well, I've just cut the, the little knobbly bits off the bottom so I've not had to reduce the length or anything. They are already exactly the length that I want but I need to get all the shine off them before I start putting a base coat and gel polish on. So as you can see, my other nails that I used the peel off base coat on are still on I've not taken those off yet but as you can see they have still lasted so that's good but yeah I used to always have square nails and um, when I first started doing nails they were like really square and I, then I went to coffin nails but what now I've had these square ones on I'm back to square again I just love them um, especially for my, my nail bed shape my nail beds are quite long um, so using the square ones just I just prefer the shape So I'm using a few different gels from Kiki London. So I'm using the Mellow Rose and I'm using Modern Barbie from the Platinum Collection. That's a gorgeous glitter one. And I just thought these colours would go really well together. And then I've got one called Glisten Up that's a bit sh more sheer. So that's going to go over the top of that um, Mellow Rose on some of the nails. So I'm just going to start off with the base coat and this is from the HEMA free range. So I'm just showing you the back of the bottle because it does actually say on the bottle how long you need to cure the gel polishes for. And also it's got the information on about, you know, that Kiki London are vegan and cruelty free. And that is really important to me. So that's why I've chosen them and I am absolutely loving the gel polishes they go on so creamy and they're very similar i think to the nail reserve gels they have the same sort of consistency and i like those as well so i'm just going in with the base coat on all of the nails and i'm putting this on as thin as i can and really taking my time and scrubbing it in so that every area of that nail tip is covered so if you put your base coat on too thick, you run the risk of it going into your sidewalls and into your cuticles. And also it's not going to adhere to your gel polish as well as it is if you put it on quite thinly. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you did like this video. The majority of you that are watching aren't actually subscribed. So that would really help if you did hit that subscribe button if you like these videos. And um, if you hit on the notification bell, that will make sure that YouTube tells you whenever I upload a video and you won't miss anything. Also, if you like any of the products that I've used in this video, you can find them all in the description box. After that, I'm using the Mellow Rose. And I'm using that on the ring finger, the middle finger, oh, all of the fingers apart from the pinky. So I'm just using a thin coat at first. And it might look a bit patchy, but it's just because I want to make sure that it is thin as possible. And this gives you the best sort of adhesion to your base coat. If you're putting your layers on too thick, there is a chance of it um, crinkling in the lamp. And also there's a chance of it not actually sticking to the base coat properly if you put it on too thick. So your first coat should always be really thin. You can always add, you know, a third coat if it's not quite opaque with two coats and it might take a bit more time but it's better because your manicure will last longer that way but i didn't need to do that with this two coats was all it needed because these are really good quality gel polishes so yeah after the first coat has been cured um, the gel polishes cure for 30 seconds in uh, my led lamp so i do put two coats on i put the other coat on off camera and then on the pinky finger, I'm using the Modern Barbie and this is a gorgeous colour. I absolutely love it. I wasn't going to put it on the full nail. I was just going to put little bits of it here and there, but I'm so glad I did because I love it. This pinky finger might actually be my favourite nail, even though there's nothing on it but that glitter polish. It's gorgeous. So that has had two coats as well. 
and then on the middle finger I'm using this glisten up so this is a really sheer colour so on its own it is really sheer but over the mellow rose it just gives it an extra like sparkle it's really nice so then I'm just using the no white top coat and this is from the Hema Free collection as well and I'm just going over the nails that are not going to have anything extra on So then I've got some of the colours on my palette and I'm just doing a heart with the Modern Barbie and my dotting tool. So this is just going to be a little pink heart that I'm doing. And then I'm using the Kiki London detailer brush that was in my last haul and I'm trying that for the first time. And I'm using some of the classic white that is from the Hema Free collection. And I'm just outlining that heart. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it's just it just makes that heart and that glitter stand out a bit more. So it did take me a few goes because I'm not really used to this brush yet. So I did do another tiny little heart next to this one in the classic white, just using my dotting tool. And then I went over it with the glisten up sheer one. Um, but I didn't do that on camera. So I'm just doing some lines on the ring finger and I'm using the classic white and the modern Barbie and then I'm using glisten up in the middle. And then I'm just going to top coat the nails that have had that extra gel polish on. And then finally, I'm just going to add some, these are my opal gemstones that I got from Temu. And I'm just adding those on. And then I did add some caviar beads, some gold and some silver ones just off camera because they were so small, you couldn't really see them. So these are the nails all finished. I absolutely love this set. I think it's my favorite set that I've ever done. I just love the shape of the nails. I love the, the length of them. I'm just in love with them. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, this brand definitely gets a big thumbs up from me. I will definitely be getting some more polishes and using a lot of the ones that I've already got. And there will be some more videos coming up where I'm using their products because there's a lot of things that I bought that I haven't used yet. So I'm just using a lighter background just so that you can see the colours really pop. So let me know in the comments what you think. Do you like these nails as much as I do? Have you used Kiki London? If you've not, I would definitely recommend them. And don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're not already a subscriber and you hit the bell button after subscribing, you'll get notified whenever I upload a new video. And links to everything that I've used will be in the description box below. So yeah, I want to say a big thank you for watching this video and I will see you on the next one. So thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.